Meanwhile, the Okada ban announced by the Lagos state government takes effect from today and has been generating reactions from Lagosians. A correspondent, Paul George, who will monitor the effectiveness of the ban and the level of compliance by the motorcyclist, reports. From Admiralty Way, Lekki, to Third Melan Bridge, through Anthony, Maryland, down to Ikeja bus stop, nowhere in sight are the commercial motorcyclists. There seems to be compliance from them. The ones plying the roads are dispatch riders and private motorcyclists. At Surulere local government, Helen Dike said she is a motorcycle spare parts dealer. She complained that the ban has affected her business. I deal on Okada parts, pure water and soft drink. So they are my customers. In fact, they are my customers. In fact, all my customers have traveled back to their country. Because mostly they are my customers. So even the sales of pure water and mineral is too low. Because they are the Okada riders are our customers we have here. Some Lagos residents also lament the total ban of commercial motorcycles. They said the ban had taken a toll on them as they appealed to the government to find them an alternative. Now you can see me sweating. I've been trekking for the past almost 30 minutes. Because ordinarily where I would have taken Okada from to my house, I had to trek all the way. I know we have um, Keke Maruas, but you don't see them everywhere. You don't find them everywhere. So in as much as I know the positive sides of banning Okada, I think they should still leave them in the interiors for us, to be very sincere. Not all of us have vehicles that we can actually drive around, so we have to trek from one point to another, which is, I think, inflicting hardship on us. I think they should provide an alternative. When that alternative is set, then they can actually do the total ban. I think there should be an alternative. Something else should be provided for them to make things easier for them, to make life easier for them, so that they find another means of living. As the ban takes effect from today, Nigerians are waiting to see whether in the coming days the motorcyclists would gradually find their way back to the roads, just like it happened under the administrations of the former governors of Babajide Raji Fashola and Akimumi Ambode. Paul George, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.